And, and, and so it's virtually impossible to use rationality to convince someone who's looking at the world and describing things in an irrational manner. And I, I, you know, I think we once discussed this, if I'm not mistaken, but I saw a video of yours once when you had a long conversation with, with a woman and trying to convince her about the, um, the you know, archaeological record, yeah. right? And, and I sat there and I, and I felt for you because I have had those conversations with people about, you know, the Big Bang and things of that sort. But it was clear that you were never going to make headway in that conversation. So, so you stayed with it, which is great. But that approach probably is ineffective, Yeah, right? she, was, she was a hopeless case. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I, know, I know who you mean. Her, her name is Wendy Wright. Uh, and um, she, she, was, she clearly was not listening, and, and you're right, there was, it was a, a totally lost cause. But remember, this was a television program. So although I was talking to her, right. it's irrelevant whether I could convince her, I, I clearly couldn't. But there would have been lots of people watching that television program That's true. Yeah. who, who would, would have been um, influenced by it and recognizing um, that, that she was being completely irrational. And so... Um, I, 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 I don't buy the argument, of it, which I've heard often, that because you cannot convince the idiot you're talking to, um, that means that you should, should simply um, give up. I mean, right, um, right. Yeah, I guess the quick question, but we have others, uh, it, it, would there be another strategy? And I don't know what the answer to that question is. 